Hey guys, Cigar Jockey back, and I'm going to uh, do a cigar that's not in the Little Monsters uh, series of reviews that I've been doing lately. Just decided to grab something different out of the humidor, something which I haven't tried, and uh, looking forward to trying. Uh, I picked this up uh, about October of last year, and I'm getting blasted with the sun. But uh, what I have here is the Kristoff Corojo Limitada Churchill. And as you can see, it, it's a good size there. And it's got the nice pigtail cap going. And it also has another closed foot like some of the other uh, cigars I've been smoking lately, which is actually kind of a cool thing. It gets you the opportunity of trying the wrapper uh, strictly without the uh, binder or filler or anything else, just the, the taste of the wrapper being this one a uh, Corojo. And uh, taking it out of the wrapper, you get a nice uh, barnyard scent, uh, dark chocolate, uh, coffee. Excuse me, I'm going to move the uh, iPad. I'm hoping that helps a little bit. Okay, just here, sorry, technical difficulties. There we go, that's a little bit better for me. Now, um, it's a nice dark... Corojo. I mean, this is Maduro colored, if you can see there. And it's got modeling going, nice marbleization, almost like, you know, a piece of meat that has marbling through it. Nice dark. There we go. Yeah, construction wise, this thing's rock solid. It's been sitting in my humidor since, as I said, October of last year. And it, it's rock solid. It's, it's nicely rolled, nice construction. As I said earlier, it's got the dark cocoa, the sweetness, the uh, cedarness. About the same on the foot also. I haven't seen anything else different. So I'm going to light it up and see what we do. On the draw, you get earthiness, cocoa, some leather, and uh, cedar. And a natural sweetness base. Kind of nice. Now, just getting the um, hit off of the uh, Corojo wrapper, it's a little bit, I get a little bit of dryness, which is nothing wrong with that. Nice cedar base, white pepper, um, leather, a tinge of coffee, and I don't know if I said it or not, sorry if I did, I'm going to reiterate myself, but the uh, wrapper is a Nicaraguan Corojo. The binder is also Nicaraguan blend, and the filler is a Nicaraguan and Dominican blend. Sorry if I didn't throw that in earlier. So I'm going to sit back and uh, smoke this uh, Christoph Corojo Limitada Churchill, and uh, we'll see how we do. Hey guys, I'm back working on the uh, Christoph uh, um, Corojo Limitada Churchill. And uh, from my understanding, when I read this, it said it was a uh, fuller body, probably the fullest body of, of the Christos at the time. I don't know if they've come out with anything fuller. But being that this is set in my humidor for uh, 10 months, it's kind of mellowed it out. I don't find it to be a full-bodied cigar, but it is a medium-plus bodied cigar. Uh, draw is great. Uh, burn is great. No issues at all with it. Um, it's nice and uh, it's a cool smoke being that it is a church hill so you know have the length of the uh, tobacco which cools it down. Now I'm getting uh, off of uh, puffing it you get the um, I'm getting a dark chocolate, coffee, leather, a little bit of a spice. Uh, a little bit of saltiness too which is, is kind of cool. But um, kind of reminds me of, of smoking a Maduro, actually. I mean, it is a dark wrapper, but it, it reminds me of a, a, a Maduro. But um, <clears throat> the, the cool thing is, is, as I do a retro hail, I'm getting almost like this toasted grain flavor that's coming through. So what I'm going to do is, and I'm trying to cut down my video length. The last one was a couple minutes shorter. So I've got it right now here. I'm probably going to come back at the uh, halfway mark and uh, 
we'll see you then. Hey guys, back and working on the second half now of the Kristoff Corojo Limitada uh, Churchill. And so far, so good. Um, still a medium plus cigar, getting flavors of um, French roast coffee, uh, leather, um, a lot of like bitter sweet chocolate is what I'm getting through that bitter sweet chocolate is really predominantly what I'm getting right now and also on occasion I'm getting a spice like um, cinnamon Let's see if anything else changes no predominantly what I said right now and actually a little bit of um, black pepper too in the mix so it's got a good um, uh, nice amount of complexities coming through on this stick here. I mean, every time I try it, it's it's something a little bit different here and there. So it's uh, well constructed, well blended. Uh, not much else I can say on this Kristoff. This is my first one, and I'm really enjoying it. So other than that, I'm just going to sit back, uh, bring it down to the final third, and we'll see you from there. Oh, getting down to the final third now of this uh, Christoph uh, Corojo Limitada uh, Churchill and the strength has really picked up now this is a full bodied cigar from the final third um, and also I don't know if you can tell but it's got a really like Cuban-esque dark ash going through which is pretty cool but at this point now getting a lot of like almost chili pepper spice coming through uh, black pepper spice chili spice getting a predominantly like uh, espresso, really rich, dark tobacco flavors. Some, a little bit of natural sweetness is coming through also. Uh, getting some uh, cedar notes also. But all in all, just a really good cigar. Um, glad to have an opportunity to try this. Uh, something different just happened to be in my... Uh, humidor floating around. So I'm going to finish this off and just say uh, thanks for watching. This is uh, Cigar Jockey out.